ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನಾನು ಮಣಿ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಕ್ಕ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಧಾಮ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಶನ್ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಈ ಕೊನೆಯ ಸಂಚಿಕೆಗೆ ಅದರ ಸುಸ್ವಾಗತ ಕಳೆದ ಹದಿನಾಲ್ಕು ವಾರಗಳಿಂದ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಇದನ್ನ ವೀಕ್ಷಿಸ್ತಾ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ನಾವು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಕಲ್ತಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಆ ನಿಮ್ ಯಾರು ಯಾವ್ದು ಮಿಸ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರು ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಅಕ್ಕ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ಗೆ ಹೋಗಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ಸ್ ಸಿಗತ್ತೆ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಅದನ್ನ ವೀಕ್ಷಿಸಿ ಆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಟಿವ್ ಸೊ ಇವತ್ತು ನಮ್ ಜೊತೆ ಸುಪ್ರಿಯಾ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಅವರು ಇದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಸೆಷನ್ ನ ಆರಂಭ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಮಾಸ್ತಿ ಅವರೇ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಮಣಿ ಅವರೇ ಸೊ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಯು ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿ ಫೈನಲ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಟುಡೇ ದಿಸ್ ದಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸೆಷನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಬಿನ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯೂತ್ ಆನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಕೇರ್ ಎಮೋಷನಲ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆಲ್ನೆಸ್ ಇದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿ ಗೋ ಟು ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಗೋಲ್ ಸೆಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನಿಯಸ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಷನ್ಸ್ so with this i think we have been sharing some of the books that we are recommended for further studies so these are some of the books we have been recommending so, so today we will talk about the goal setting and harmonious communication as we said and this is the third of the series we talked about stress to de-stress and for june fostering positivity affirmations last week and today we're going to talk about harmonious communications goal setting etc some of the books we recommend is uh, growth mindset by carol dweck she talks about how the mindset for should be always set for learning we should always be learning and we should never be constrained with a fi- there is a fixed mindset and a growth mindset and it's we can set our mind to either of those models she said we should always set our mind to be always growing all the time so this is one of the books we recommend and uh, on harmonious communications non violent communication by marshall rosenberg we talked about this in the previous session also so this is a very powerful way to how to have harmoniously communicate within the family within the work setting within friends etc it's a very powerful book uh, i recommend that we study this book um, further and then um, satya nadella when he became ceo of microsoft he gave these two books to others to his leadership team because he was trying to change the culture of microsoft so these were the two books that he used to change the culture of microsoft so very instructive from a work perspective also so the other book we study today is you know how to change our emotions so there is a book called sedona method written by a person called held waskin based on the teaching from lester levinson this is a way how we can be self aware of our emotions and we can let go of negative emotions quite easily he gives the example of you know holding a pen if you're holding a pen you are holding it very tight and it's on our power to just we can drop it we can let the pen go so sometimes emotions are also like that he gives that analogy you can read more about this in in this book so and we learned positive affirmations uh, last time so by having affirmations we can sort of rewire the brain it's called neuroplasticity as well and this will change our mindset to be kindness and loving to ourselves as well as uh, self increasing self esteem and self belief so it's very powerful thing supriya already talked about it last time so it's something to enhance and enhance it so with this i think we'll uh, hand over to supriya ready avaru so she's going to talk about um, goal setting and harmonious communications and also give a overview of the entire uh, session so far and we recommend that have a pencil paper and she will do some interactive exercises also have a post it note ready if you have it this will help in uh, today's session with this i will hand over to supriya ellare go namaskara thank you for having me again and uh, we can go to the next slide please give it a minute and we pull up the slides i think you're on mute you'd like coming up now trying to get the right browser in <laughs> okay there it is yeah. uh, yeah. sorry wrong wrong window <laughs> some technical problem okay. 
Resting day, goal setting, yeah. Welcome to our final webinar on goal setting, self-care through heartfulness. Take a quick look at uh, our agenda, please. So today we're going to start again with checking in with our feelings. We're going to quickly make a note of them as usual. We'll also talk a little bit about different emotions and our attitudes. We'll talk about the importance of monitoring our mindset. We'll touch upon heartful communication. We'll talk about evaluating our goals and making a list of our goals by looking at a goals pyramid. And finally, we'll have our practical workshop where I'll be introducing a new tool, which is the guided PEMS tool. So let's uh, start checking in to our feelings as usual. Next slide, please. So let's take a quick look at the chart on the right side of the slide and see how we're feeling today. We can pick a couple of feelings from the chart. We can also use the word bank on the left of the slide and pick one or two, um, as many as you would like to, feelings from the word bank and make a quick note of it in your notepad. So let's uh, take a minute to do that. If you'd like to share in the chat box, you could do that as well. Let's see if we have any responses coming. Okay. Lot of work today, so restless. Hmm. I can understand here. Yeah. Happy. Thank you for sharing. Imbalance. Thank you for sharing. So now that we've done identifying how we feel, becoming aware of our emotions, let's take a deep breath and let go of that feeling. Let's take another deep breath, breathe in, breathe out and let go. Let's try to come to a still state of mind, some stillness before we go to the next slide, please. So let's look at attention to our attitude. Let's pay attention to how we're feeling, right? So last week we talked about the importance of having a positive attitude. But sometimes it's hard to be positive, like we had seen in the responses that we got in our chat box, right? We're feeling restless, stressed, imbalanced. So now let's think about what prevents us from having a positive attitude. You know, sometimes we face challenges and it's hard to be positive. For example, when our health is not good, you know, it's hard to be positive when we don't feel healthy. So let's take a minute to close our eyes and think about what is it that prevents us from having a positive attitude. So let's do that. Let's just sit back and think about it for a minute. What is it that comes up in us that prevents us from having a positive attitude towards life? Anyone would like to share in the chat box? Please go ahead and uh, type it in.
or if you would like to make a note of it in your notepad, you could do that as well. Okay, we have some answers. Expectation that one has to be positive all the time, true. See, unfinished work on the list, true. Our thoughts, yes. Absolutely right, yes. Comparison with others, yes. Yep. These are all things that prevent us from having a positive attitude. Thank you for sharing, everyone. So can we go to the next slide, please? So now that we're aware of our attitudes and what prevents us from having a positive attitude, let's think about our effort. Can we put in an effort to have a positive attitude? We can, right? By using the different tools that we talked about last week, um, the positive affirmations, the breathing, we did the relaxation exercise. So in order to have a good, successful, well-balanced life, not only we, do we need to have a positive attitude, but we need to also make an effort, a constant effort to maintain it, right? Because sometimes we do face challenges. Just as we look at the picture, the left, left leg represents attitude and the right leg um, represents effort. So in order to climb the stairs, we need the support balanced effort, right? So attitude and effort need to be balanced in order for us to have a very successful and a well-balanced life. So just wanted to just share that really quickly before we go to the next slide. So here's a great book by Jim Collins. He talks about what are the uh, important qualities that CEOs of very successful companies have. And he said that a true leader has humility combined with a ferocious will. So these are great attitudes based on his research. It's a great book. If you have time, you, know, you can please read it. It's a very, very, very interesting book. So how do we cultivate these attitudes of humility and um, have all these positive qualities? How do we develop these qualities? So let's take a quick look at our next slide, please. So heartfulness practices help us develop these qualities. So in order to enhance our practice, we also need to have a proper attitude. So what would happen if we could bring in humility and clarity, clearness of purpose, right? How about bringing joy, simplicity, and gratitude towards our practice? How would all this impact the results of our practice, right? Something to think about. Let's go to the next slide, please. So in order to have a positive mindset, we need to have a good communication system, not only with everyone around us, but we also have to develop a positive self-talk. And we'll look at that uh, in our next slide. But let's quickly recap what heartful communication is all about. So here are some of the important aspects of heartful communication. To listen respectfully, to speak gently, to avoid loudness or sharpness in tone. In other words, to be assertive, but not aggressive. Touch the hearts of others with love in both verbal and nonverbal communication. So in order to develop this kind of communication skill, it starts from within. So if we're able to have a positive self-image about ourselves and speak positively towards ourselves, we can easily translate it in our communication with others. So let's take a quick look at um, our next slide, please. How do we develop this positive self-talk? So let's do an activity. If you have post-its with you, uh, I'd invite you to get some post-its. 
And what we'll do is we'll write down a few positive affirmations. Like last week we spoke about, uh, we did a set of positive affirmations together. So today I'd invite you to write down a few affirmations for yourself. For example, I'm strong, I'm brave, I'm talented, I'm successful, I'm beautiful, I'm smart. So these are a few examples. I'd also like to show you a few of the affirmations that we work with our students. Um, if you could just pull up the next slide, please. The positive affirmation slide. Again, we need to go to the other slide. Okay. I'd like to just show you an example of some activities that we did with our students in a high school where we had invited teens to make their own positive affirmations and we had a wall of affirmations. And it was such a fun activity. Kids loved it. And they came up with so many uh, types of affirmations and it was a lot of fun, which I wanted to share with you today. So here is the wall of affirmations. The students had written, I'm cool. I can do anything I put my mind to. I'm beautiful. I'm strong. No matter what anyone says, I'm great. I'm doing my best. I'm a ray of sunshine. It's a beautiful activity that you could do with your children and you could do it for yourself as well. Can we go to the next slide, please? Here's the wall where the students have posted all their affirmations. And they told us that they felt so good when they did this activity. So we just wanted to share that with you today. And uh, this was uh, in a school in New Jersey where we had done this activity. And here's uh, our student, our high schooler who had uh, conducted the activity. Over to the next uh, slide, please. So she put together this whole workshop using all the material from our website and, you know, Kids loved it. Can we go to the next slide, please? Uh, the positive affirmations slide. Or oh, that's fine. This is good. So what we can do is go there once in, oh yeah, once again. We'll go yeah. Here are some of positive affirmations. So I run a program called Brighter Minds, which is a cognitive enhancement program. And we made some positive affirmations and we had our students do this activity and kids loved it. So last week I had mentioned about this uh, 10 year old who was uh, having a difficult time, uh, was afraid about his examination, right? So these are some of the affirmations we have in our program. If you could go to the next slide, please. I'm thankful for everything I have. I'm a good friend. I'm smart. You know, we came up with so many different types of affirmations. And this one, I really love it. I'm resilient. So we had the kids think about these affirmations first, and we made them write down their own affirmations specific to anything that they're working on or any stress that they're dealing with. So these are great um, affirmations, um, examples, and then you can you know, make up your own affirmations. So if we could um, go to the activity, we can go back to our uh, slide, please. So uh, the mirror talk slide, where we invite everyone to take a moment to make some affirmations. Yes. So let's take a minute to either use some post-its if you have them or your notepad and just make up a couple of affirmations for yourself. Or if there are any kids or teens um, on the webinar today, they can do that as well. So let's take a minute to do that. It's a fun activity.
I am committed, self-driven, flexible, confident, creative. Awesome. I love that. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you for sharing. We don't have a lot of time today, so I'm just going to skip through this slide and go to the next one. But please feel free to do this when you have more time. So in our first webinar, we talked about stress to de-stress activities, right? So one activity that really helps manage our stress better on a day-to-day -day basis is setting goals. For example, if we look at our pyramid here, we have the base as life values. So we usually when we do this in the classroom, we invite kids to think about what their life values are. And then we ask them to think about long-term goals and then short-term goals, weekly goals, daily goals. And this really helps in goal setting. And it really helps with managing time and becoming more efficient. This is something we can do for ourselves as well. So just wanted to share this pyramid with you. Over to the next slide, please. So this is what we do with the kids in the classroom setting. We ask them to close their eyes and reflect on their core values in life, connecting within and building on their goals. So let's quickly showcase what we do with the students. Over to the next slide, please. So now we come to our practical workshop. So what we'll do is we're going to observe ourselves first on a physical level, then on an emotional, then mental level, and then we go within and connect to our heart. So what we'll do right now is we'll sit back, close our eyes, and we'll listen to an audio for the practical tool. So let's get ready for our workshop. If you could please play the audio. PAMS, a tool to observe. PAMS is a tool to heartfully observe our daily responses or reactions. Let's begin. Sit comfortably. Gently close your eyes and relax. Turn your attention to your physical body and take a moment to observe yourself physically. Observe how much your body cooperates, moving, not moving, aches and pains. Now gently turn your attention to your emotions and take a moment to observe yourself emotionally. Observe your moods, changes in moods, and emotions such as happiness, sadness, fear, anger, anxiety, or guilt. Note that you are only observing them at this time. to your mental ability. Take a moment to observe yourself mentally and observe your efficiency in what you do, your stress, failures, and successes, your attitude, optimism, and pessimism, thinking, reasoning, and focus. Now that you have created awareness and observed yourself physically, emotionally, and mentally, gently connect with your heart. If you find your inside calm and peaceful, then connect yourself to your inside. But sometimes, if you feel lots of drifting thoughts and chaos inside, then imagine a place where you have been that gives you peace and joy. A 
allow yourself to feel connected and absorbed within. You may open your eyes when you feel connected within and you are ready to come out. So this was our PEMS guided activity. You can even find this on our website. We had showed you last week, we had shared our website with you and showed you the different uh, audio and script version. So please feel free to take a look and use this uh, tool. It's a great tool. Can we have the slides, please? Can we go to the next slide, please? Next slide. So, so far we've covered four tools from our Heartful program for schools. So we did the heartfulness relaxation in our first session where we made gentle suggestions to relax our body, feel your whole body completely relax. Then we did the breathing with awareness and purpose, where we took deep breaths to feel calm and peaceful. Breathe in what is good for you and breathe out what is good for everyone. We did heartfelt affirmations, where we learned to make heartfelt affirmations and guide our thoughts in a positive direction, relax and feel connected with our surroundings. And today we did the PEMS reflection, where we practiced self-observation by listening and reflecting on ourselves, we became aware of what is going on outside and inside of ourselves. We also have two more tools, uh, heartfulness rejuvenation and heartfulness meditation. But since we don't have much time, you know, we only were able to accommodate with three sessions, we couldn't do these um, other tools. But please feel free to go to our website and take a look at all our six tools for our Heartful Schools program. So over to the next slide, please. So to wrap it up, just wanted to share what our vision for humanity is. So our idea is to fine tune the heart with the mind, provide tools for social emotional learning, create a positive environment inside out, to create a feeling of oneness, to go from me to we and our, and to prepare future leaders. So this is our program of Heartful Schools. Over to the next slide, please. So here you can um, take a look at our uh, website. You could write to us at edu at heartfulnessinstitute.org. And you can also ask any questions. Please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you so much for having me at this uh, workshop. It was, it was great being with all of you and sharing our, all the wonderful tools from our Heartful Schools program. Thank you. Thank you, Supriya. It's a wonderful three sessions. We really enjoyed it. And there is a lot of benefits for the children, parents, everybody. So thank you so much. Uh, Mani Vare, now we will go into the Samaropa Samaramba, the valedictory event. I request Narain Kini is here to summarize the, the pro overall program and then we can go with some comments. Namaskara. I think uh, at the outset, Idon uh, Daukasha Sikto, Yeshtu Hosa relations create Aitu Idrinda. Not necessarily organization to organization, but uh, mostly one on one as a result of this program. So, Adikke Ridaya Poor Vaka Krithagnate Gado. It would not have happened uh, without the support of so many people behind the scenes, uh, uh, both from the Akka side as well as the heartfulness side. Kelausati held tare, you take the first step and the path will open up for you, Anta. So, in this program, I feel it was like that. The intention was so pure and so genuine 
that we said it doesn't matter let us get started and then gradually it started uh, uh, developing momentum amal content also turned so relevant we were taking out gems out of each session and uh, they were adding value to our lifestyle uh, in recent exercises nallo uh, very very key inference a pemsale last step self anta heltivi adralli trick enandre a self aspect centeredness aspect now cultivate maarkondre mikkidella adrashtakke settle agutte if you are centered you take care of yourself whether it is self confidence self resilience self interest then you have the initiative to take care of the rest of them and self starts from the divine within and the divine within is addressed through meditation so it's a full circle and it it was not orchestrated like this but uh, you know some fundamental truths of nature are like that you know you get started somewhere and you come back to the same place and say oh it was always here with me and now that i have realized let me do something about it anta so i think uh, that was uh, that was the take away inond vishya en anustu andre through this program the akka organization gave us an opportunity to expose ourselves and introduce ourselves to people of all ages and all walks of life ಅದ್ ಒಂದು ಯುನೀಕ್ನೆಸ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಕ್ಕ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಒಂದು ಸಂದರ್ಭಕ್ಕೆ ಒಟ್ಟು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಆ ಒಂದು ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಆ ಈವೆಂಟ್ಗೆ ಇದು ಬರೀ ಗಂಡಸ್ರಿಗೆ ಇದು ಬರೀ ಹೆಂಗಸ್ರಿಗೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಬಂದು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ತರ ಯೋಚನೆನೆ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಅಕ್ಕ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಹಾರ್ಟ್ಫುಲ್ನೆಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಹಾಕಿದಾಗ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಏನಾದರೂ ಒಂದು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ಇಡೀ ಕುಟುಂಬಕ್ಕೆ ಹೇಗೆ ಯೂಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಅವಕಾಶ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಟ್ರು ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ಎ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ಎ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಫೋರ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಕೀ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ಡ್ನೆಸ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕೇಟರ್ ಟು ಅದರ್ ವಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ Uh, a great deal of admiration a great deal of pride and uh, a great deal of gratitude for each and every akka member and the organizing team namdu ondu enadru ondu olle vishaya tilkondre adru ottige namge ondu javabdari barutte antare hiriyaru yen adu javabdari ನಾವು ಡೇ ಟು ಡೇ ಲೈಫ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಹೋಟ್ಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತಿನ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಊರ್ಗೆಲ್ಲ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅದೇ ತರ ಈ ತರ ಒಂದು ಧ್ಯಾನದ ವಿಷಯ ಅದರಿಂದ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಜನರಿಗೆ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಒಂದು ಡಿವಿನಿಟಿ ಕಲ್ಟಿವೇಟ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡೋದಪ್ಪ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಕತೆ ಇದೆ ಒಂದು ಹಿರಿಯರ್ ಸೈಂಟ್ ಇದ್ರಂತೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗವ್ರ ಗುರುಗಳು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಂತೆ ನಿನ್ಗೊಂದು ಮಂತ್ರ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅದನ್ನ ಯಾರಿಗೂ ಹೇಳಬಾರ್ದು ಒಂದ್ ವೇಳೆ ನೀನ್ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನೀನ್ ನರ್ಕಕ್ ಹೋಗ್ತೀಯ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಮಾರನೆ ದಿನ ಈ ಸೈಂಟ್ ಒಂದ್ ಬೆಟ್ಟದ ಮೇಲೆ ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಊರ್ನವ್ರನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಕರೆದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಆ ಮಂತ್ರ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ರಂತೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಊರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಐನೂರು ಮಂದಿ ಇದಾರೆ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲ ಸ್ವರ್ಗಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನಾನ್ ನರ್ಕಕ್ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಪರವಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ನನ್ಗೆ ನಾನ್ ಹೇಳೇ ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾರ್ಗು ಇದನ್ನ ಬಚ್ಚಿಡಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ಅಂತ ನಮ್ಮ ಹತ್ರ ಆ ತರ ಒಂದ್ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಈ ಯೋಗದ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಇದೆಯಲ್ವಾ ಅದು ಒಂದು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಅಂತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಅದು ಹೇಳೋದು ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಗುರುಗಳು ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ರು ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಕೇಳ್ಕೊಂಡು ನನ್ ಗುರುಗಳು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಪ್ಪ ಇದು ಅಂತ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ವಿಷಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಒಂದು ಚೀಟಿಲ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ನಮ್ ಗುರುಗಳು ಕೊಟ್ರು ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ನೀವು ಹೋಗಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೂ ಒಂದು ಚೀಟಿ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಬಟ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಓಪನ್ಲಿ and with a very very open heart nivu inish mandi heli avru kalili ellrigu ontara you know uh, liberation path create aagli anta so the purpose the intent of heartfulness is always like that everything open always available on demand always free at a ondu mindset to a ond attitude inda ee akka program alli participate madiravaru ellaru ಅವ್ರು ಕಲ್ತಿರೋ ವಿದ್ಯೆ ಅವ್ರು ಕಲ್ತಿರೋ 
ಟಿಪ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಆದಷ್ಟು ಮಂದಿಗೆ ಇದೊಂದು ಧ್ಯಾನದ ಪ್ಯಾತಲ್ಲಿ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬರೋ ಥರ ಒಂದು ಅವಕಾಶ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡಿ ಅಂತ ನಂದು ಒಂದು ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಯು ನೋ ಮೈ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಈಚ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದಟ್ ಅಮೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಪರ್ಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಲೆಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ವೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಿತ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗ್ರಾಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಟು ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನರೇಂದ್ರ ಅವರೇ ಸೊ ಉಮಾ ಮಲ್ಲಪಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹಿಯರ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಆಡ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಗ್ರೀಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ದ ಅಕ್ಕ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ನರ್ ವಿತ್ ಥಾಟ್ಫುಲ್ನೆಸ್ ಟು ಆಫರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಬ್ರದರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಡ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ to learn this technique of meditation especially for our children in this day to day world of stress if we can give them this gift the art of meditation as a tool for them to manage as parents all of us will be more peaceful you know as parents our main thing in this world is like if our children are financially check secure and if our children will be mentally balanced and able to handle the ups and downs of life is a concern for every sincere parent and if we can somehow introduce them to this technique of meditation that is the biggest asset we can give that is the biggest um gift that we can give to them so they know where to fall back and look to i can say that i was able to share with my children entire medical school they became true meditators because they realized the need for meditation now they are going into the depths of being being able to understand even when we talk about our vedic statements from the vedas also i always tell them this statement that is my favorite is from the rigveda the wise looked within their heart to know what is and what is not so the first concept for human beings is to become wise and have that clear perception and those wise people automatically know that they need to look to their heart and follow their heart and that is the best gps we can give to our children we don't need to give anything more and especially with the our heartfulness method the transmission emanating from our guides living guides consciousness that helps our thought that is so distracted and it allows us to come into that silence and uh, whatever struggles we have stresses we go through we are able to remain in that peaceful state even in ur- uh, urgent situations emergencies i personally have been experiencing that this week where we were organizing a seminar with ata and as organizers most of you know how hectic and uh, stressful it is it kind of tries to throw you off balance and i feel uh, grateful to my guru that with the help of this transmission amidst all the stresses of chaos of tornado going on outside my heart is still centered and that my children are able to observe because they see the stress i am going through but they are seeing the centeredness in me i think as parents if each one of us can practice so they can really see that we do struggle in this life we have sufferings in this life we do struggle we still struggle with people we struggle with family we struggle with work we struggle with finances but yet with perseverance we can move forward because an unknown peace is inside our heart so if we can share this message by living examples i think we will become successful parents so as members of akka we all should strive to utilize this opportunity of the heartfulness method and the transmission coming from our living guide and as we practice and as we are living examples that we are living in this world we have stress we have sufferings we disagree we fight we argue but yet we have this inner perseverance and we are able to remain balanced and peaceful and i would say that with the heartfulness practice it is possible um, and uh, i'm very grateful to akka and uh, board members and everybody 
for giving us the opportunity and we do hope we continue this relationship so heartfulness can continue to serve in all communities not only akka arata to everybody and uh, we do hope that uh, um, we get a chance to give our weekly sessions and you can use the hearts app which is um, where you can get in touch with a trainer and uh, heartspots.heartfulness where you can find out trainers all over the world where they are and you can connect with them and uh, benefit from the practices and techniques thank you everybody thanks for allowing me to be a part of this great event. thank you namaskar thank you uma garu thank you so much many of you can uh, coordinate the response comments from the board uh, yeah so um, yeah thank you and uh, we still have uh, a few more guests i mean i really would like them to talk first uh, Shri Mr. Shri Jagdish is here. So if you would like to say a few words. Uh, thank you very much, Mani Yure. Uh, I am no closer to any of these knowledgeable, efficient people, but I, will, I am an observer. I am a student who have gone through all the sessions, even though I was not able to uh, attend all of them on uh, live, but then I have listened to all of them. but one thing nan again and satyan tandri it has transformed my life and the outlook of what we are now chikavri daga helta idru nam tande tai yavaglunu neevu yavudanne helidrunu yavude madidrenu preeti vishwasadinda shraddheyinda madidre adralli sarthakate kandkoltivi anta adre na kelidenu ee kivel kelibutri ee kivel bitbidtaidvi yakandre aa jeevanada ಕುದುರೆ ಓಟ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನ ಹತ್ತಿ ಓಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ಅದು ನಾವು ನಿಲ್ಸೋ ತನಕ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಈ ಧರ್ಮ ಈ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಅದರ ಅರ್ಥ ಬೆಲೆ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನಾವು ಬೆಳೆಯುವಾಗ ಆ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿನೂ ಇರ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಇದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಯಾರು ಹಿರಿಯರಾಗ್ಲಿ ಇದಾಗ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡೋ ಅಂತ ಸ್ಥಿತಿಯಲ್ಲೂ ಇರ್ತಾ ಇರ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಆದ್ರೂ ಆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಜ್ಜ ಒಬ್ರು ಹೇಳೋರು ಬೆಳಗ್ಗೆ ಎದ್ದು ದಿನ ಹಣೆಗ್ ವಿಭೂತಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಲಿಂಗ ಪೂಜೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಅದ್ರ ದೇವ್ರಿದಾನೆ ಅಂತ ಅಲ್ಲ ನಿನ್ನ ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ನೀನ್ ಏನ್ ಕಂಡ್ಕೋತೀಯ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ಒಂದ್ಸಲ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ದಿವಸಕ್ಕೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡುವಂತಹ ಶಕ್ತಿ ನನಗ್ ಕೊಡು ಅಂತ ಕೇಳ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಸಂಜೆ ಬಂದು ಪೂಜೆ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಇವತ್ತೇನೇನ್ ನಾನ್ ತಪ್ಪು ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾನು ಹೇಗೆ ಸರಿಪಡಿಸ್ಬಹುದು ಅನ್ನೋದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಪೂಜೆ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕೆ ಹೊರತು ದೇವರು ಈಶ್ವರ ರಾಮ ಯಾರು ಇಲ್ಲ ಆ ಲಿಂಗದಲ್ಲಿ ನಿನ್ನ ಭಾವನೆಗಳು ನೀನ್ ಯಾವ ದೇವ್ರನ್ನ ಅಂದ್ಕೋತೀಯೋ ಅದು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳೋರು ಅದು ಎಷ್ಟು ಒಳ್ಳೇದು ಅಂತ ಅನಿಸ್ತಿತ್ತು ಆದ್ರೆ ಅವಾಗ ಅವಸರದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನೋ ಹಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ಕೊಂಡು ಓಡೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಈಗ ಅದ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಬಟ್ ಇವೆಲ್ಲಾ ಸೆಷನ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಕೇಳಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ನನಗೆ ಒಂದು ಏನ್ ಬಂತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಇದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಚಿಕ್ಕ ವಯಸ್ಸಿನಲ್ಲೇ ತಿಳಿಸ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕು ಇವತ್ತು ಕೇಳಿದ ಸೆಷನ್ಗಳಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟ್ರ ಮಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನ ನಾವು ತಿದ್ಬಹುದು ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿ ಫಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಮಿಗ್ರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಎಷ್ಟಾದ್ರೂ ಹೊರಗಿನವ್ರೇನೆ ಆ ಬುಲ್ಲಿಸಮ್ ಆ ಟೆರರಿಸಮ್ ಅನ್ನ ತಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋ ಅಂತ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಬರ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ಬೇಕು ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಮನೆಯ ಮೊದಲ ಪಾಠ ಶಾಲೆ ಜನನಿ ತಾನೇ ಮೊದಲ ಗುರು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಆ ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿಗಳು ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಿಕೊಡುವಂತಹ ಹಾಗೂ ಗುರುಗಳಿಂದ ಕಲಿತ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಚಿಕ್ಕಂದಿನಿಂದಲೇ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಆದ್ರೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಒಳ್ಳೇದು ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಮದ್ರಾಸಗಳಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಅವರು ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಅದರಿಂದ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಆ ಮದ್ರಾಸಗಳಾಗೋ ಬದಲು ನಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಯೋಗ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಆಸ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಇವಾಗ ನಮಗೆ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಅಂಶಗಳು ಇದನ್ನ ಅದರಿಂದ ಎಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಲಿಟ್ಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅದನ್ನ ಹೇಳಕ್ಕೆ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಗಳು ಐ ಎಂ ಎ ಜೀನ್ ಥೆರಪಿಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲಾರ್ದು ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಏನು ಒಂದೇ ಇದೆ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅ ಫ್ಯೂ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಡ್ ಟು ದ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಸಿಟಿ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಪುರಾಣಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ವೇದಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ನಾವೆಲ್ಲಾ ಬಂದಿರೋದು ಒಂದ್ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದಾನೆ ಹೋಗೋದು ಒಂದ್ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದಾನೆ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಈ ಕನೆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿಯನ್ನ ನಾವು ತಿಳ್ಕೋಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ನಾಡಿಗಳನ್ನ ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬರನ್ನ ಜೊತೆ ನಾಡಿಗಳಿಗೆ
ತರಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಒಂದು ಹಿಡಿದಿಟ್ಕೋಬೇಕಾದಂತ ಒಂದು ಆಕರ್ಷಕ ಶಕ್ತಿ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ತೋರಿಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ನಾನು ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತೀನಿ ಈಗ ಒಂದು ಐವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷದ ಹಿಂದೆ ನಾವು ಕ್ಲೌಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಮಾಚಾರಗಳು ಇಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಜನದ್ದು ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಹೆಂಗೆ ಹಿಡಿದು ನಾವು ಸೆಲ್ಫೋನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ದೇಶ ದೇಶಗಳಿಂದನೂ ದುಡ್ಡು ಕೊಡಲ್ದೇನೆ ವಾಟ್ಸಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಷ್ಟು ಮಾತಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಇದು ಸಾಧ್ಯತೆ ಅಂದಿದ್ರೆ ನಂಬ್ತಿದ್ವಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನಿಗೆ ಈಗ ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಜನ ಈ ಕ್ಲೌಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಹಾಕ್ತಾರೋ ಆ ರೀತಿ ಭಕ್ತರು ಎಲ್ಲರನ್ನು ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರನಿಗೆ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಹಾಕ್ತಾರಂತೆ ಆ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ನ ಹಿಡಿದು ಗ್ರಹಣವಾಗಿ ನಿನ್ನ ಸೆಲ್ ಫೋನ್ ಬರ್ಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋದಂತ ಶಕ್ತಿ ನಿನಗ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಇದೆ ನೀನು ಆ ದಿಶೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಈ ಪಾಠವನ್ನು ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕಾದಂಥದ್ದು ನಮ್ಮ ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿಗಳ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಮಾಜದ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯ ಅಂತಹ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನ ಇಂದಿನ ದಿವಸ ಅಕ್ಕದವರು ನಡೆಸಿಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಒಬ್ಬೊಬ್ಬರನ್ನು ಹೇಳಿಕೊಳ್ಳೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾರು ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಟಾಕ್ಗಳನ್ನ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ತಮ್ಮ ತಮ್ಮ ಅನುಭವಗಳನ್ನ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಹಂಚಿಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಕ್ಕೂ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಸಾಧ್ಯತೆಯನ್ನ ಅಕ್ಕ ಕನ್ ಕಮಿಟಿಯವರು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಕ್ಕೂ ಅದನ್ನ ನಿರರ್ಗಳವಾಗಿ ನಡೆಸಿಕೊಂಡು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಮುನ್ನೋಡಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಂತಹ ಮಣಿಯವರಿಗೂ ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಗಳ ಪರಿಚಯ ಹಾಗೂ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬರನ್ನು ವಿಷಯ ವಿಮರ್ಶೆ ಮಾಡಿದಂತಹ ವಾಸುಮೂರ್ತಿಯವರಿಗೂ ಎಷ್ಟು ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ಹೇಳಿದರು ನಾನು ಸಾಲ್ ಸಾಲ್ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಸಾಲದು ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ಇದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ನಾನು ತುಂಬಾ ಚಿರಋಣಿ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಜಯಶ್ರೀ ಅವರೇ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಟೀಮ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಲೈಕ್ ಅಕ್ಕ ಲೈಕಿನ ತಂಡದಿಂದ ಇದನ್ನ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಅನ್ಕೊಂಡ್ವಿ ವಾಸುಮೂರ್ತಿ ಅವರು ಮತ್ತೆ ಇಡೀ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ಫುಲ್ನೆಸ್ ಟೀಮ್ ಅವರು ಲೈಕಿನ ಲೈಕ್ ದೇವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವೆರಿ ಕಮಿಟೆಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಡೆಡಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಪಾಪ ಎವ್ರಿ ವೀಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇನ್ನೋ ಈ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಆ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅಂತ ಲೈಕ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಲೈಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಲೈಕ್ ನರೇನ್ ಕಿನ್ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳ್ದಂಗೆ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಸೊ ಆ ತರ ಲೈಕ್ ತುಂಬಾನೇ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ವೀಕ್ಸ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಟೀಮ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಸೊ ಅವ್ರ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಇಲ್ದೆ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಸಾಧ್ಯನೆ ಆಗ್ತಿರ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಿ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ಐ ರಿಯಲಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅನುರಾಧ ನಮ್ ಇವತ್ತು ಕಾರಣಾಂತರದಿಂದ ಅಮರನಾಥ್ ಗೌಡ್ರು ಮತ್ತೆ ದಾನಂದ್ ತುಮಕೂರ್ ಅವರಿಬ್ರು ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದಾರೆ ಸೊ ದೇ ಕುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ನಮ್ಮ ವೈಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಆದ ಅನುರಾಧ ತುಮಕೂರ್ ಸಾರಿ ಅನುರಾಧ ತಾವರೆ ಕಿರಿಯರ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಧನಂಜಯ್ ಅವರು ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರಿಬ್ರು ಮಾತಾಡಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಅನುರಾಧ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನಾನು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅನುರಾಧ ತಾವರೆಕೆರೆ ವೈಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಅಕ್ಕ ಮೈ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಫೆಲ್ಟ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ನರೇನ್ ಕಿನಿ ಅವರೇ ಶ್ರೀ ವಾಸುಮೂರ್ತಿ ಅವರೇ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಸುಪ್ರಿಯಾ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಗಾರು ಉಮಾ ಮಲ್ಪುಡಿ ಗಾರು ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ಫುಲ್ನೆಸ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಅಕ್ಕ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಧಾಮ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ್ ಟು ರಿವಿಯರ್ಡ್ ದಾಜಿ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಅನ್ಫೋರ್ಸಿನ್ ಸರ್ಕಮ್ಸ್ಟಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಅಮರನಾಥ್ ಗೌಡ್ರು ಅಂಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಶ್ರೀ ದಯಾನಂದ್ ತುಮಕೂರ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ಐ ಕನ್ವೇ ದರ್ ಗ್ರೀಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹಾರ್ಟ್ಫುಲ್ನೆಸ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಟೀಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕನ್ಸೀವ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಅ ವೆಲ್ನೆಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್
Uh, Dhananjay Are, would you just speak a few words? Sure, Mani, thank you. Thanks for including me and uh, giving me the opportunity to thank each one of you. Uh, I think, I mean, first thing I would like to thank you. Uh, between you and Gosamurti, there was a lot of coordination that has taken place. I think everybody, all the speakers have summarized it very well. I don't want to take much time to summarize, but I would like to take this opportunity to thank the whole team of heartfulness as well as Akka and especially the representative of you and Gosamurti for coordinating and driving this with uh, Narendra. Uh, thank you very much. That's all I would like. And we would like to see how we can still coordinate and collaborate for future uh, programs. Thank you, Mani. Thank you. Thank you, um, thank you Dana Jare. Uh, we also have uh, Padmini Hemant from um, Vrindavana, New Jersey. Uh, even she has been like, you know, uh, <laughs> been a big part of this beginning. Ali, you have to coordinate your coordinate your Padmini or all of them. It was uh, mainly with the uh, Vasamurthy. Uh, so, Patmini, uh, would you like to say a few words? Namaskara, uh, everyone. First of all, Akka Samstege Brindavan Parvagi Hagu Idi Yella Kanada Kutukal Parvagi on the Dudda Danya Adana Heltaidini Intaha on the Sadao Kasha Yen Tatuara Yarogya Dhamad Mulka Matome Nan Heartfulness Practitioner Age Yel Idi Kanada Bandavel Elurgo on the Heartfulness Samste Bagge Practice Bagge a Nima Mulaka, even though Hami Haradi on the Santosh Karwad on the Karakaman and Nuts quoted the Kematome Danua the Guru. Nano Ike held the gay heartfulness some stage of the Bala Varshagal in the Nano, even though Abhaswana Marta Edini. Bala Varshagal Hinde Idena, Sahaj Marganta Karitaidro, Andre Bala Sahalavadantaha on the Marga. I do Nivi Gangle Nodironge, Bala Saralavagi de Marga, Uma or Heldange. Makul Yavaglo, Dodona Nortare, Hege and Navo on the reaction Kurti on the stressful situation Ali, Yaude on the either stressor Lidaganta. Nivelero Illige, even the Abyas on the Nilaste, either the Munduversta Hogbeko, Ado Hege and the heartfulness in a Bahalash to center, so Idi, North America, Lide, Canada, Lide, Shwadiantaide. So other Bagenio, heartfulness.org, Hodre. Yella centers now on the Visheshate, Ayeno, Ya, Yava, Samekal, Nival, Hogi, meditate, Marbodo, Igale, Solpa, Covid, the Sudasta Dange, a Solpa Gentrana, the Alam Marta, the Real Hogi, Nivo, Adravondo, Abiasman, Ali, Eller Jote Mado, on the Santosha, Beretta Rata, on the level up Pantana Herbodo, Hage, Nimigia, Yaradru, Barta Kodre, Vishwadale, Dodda Dadanta, on the meditation center, Kanha, Shanti Vanam, Manta, Hyderabad, the Trade. Ali Nivo, Navel Ros, Swam Seva Kraka, Brindavana, Yella, Kanada Kutadoruno, Ali now on the Swam Seva Krakelsa and Mado Nodadre, the Hela Kagalash to Santosha Gate, on the technology ugly, medical ugly, Yella no, no fine prints, no strings attached, Yellow, free of cost, Yella on the humanitarian grounds, Gay, Makalaga Ole Dagli, Mumber, or Pidiga Ole Dagli and Tamartero on the Kelsaido, Intaha on the Olea. Some stage of the Akka, some stay Kaijo Sirodo, Namaidi, Canada, Bandugalge on the Heme, Padontaha Visha, Idhige, Munduari Linta, Korkota, Nani on the Matagan Mugustai, Mani Orege, Avasu Orege, Naren Orege, Uma Orege, Idi Akka, some stay, Dananje Orege, Nama Daniva the Glo, Tumkur Dananda Orege, Amanat Godrege, David to Tilsi, Matome, Idhige, Munduari Linta, Nanondase, Namskara. Then you are going to put many or no Vishia, no Matar Tidagan, Jete Matar Tai, the Hengi Mundu Sodonta, the Brandavana Jete Heartful Schools Program, Canada Program with the Integrate Modern Anta on the suggestion Ide, Jete Amel Matar Bodo, so do up for the yeah. So the Hengi Mundureke on the chin, Namaskar. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Padminiore. And uh, once again, uh, like. Thank you so much, uh, Narain, uh, Narain Kini Orge, Vasamurti Orge, uh, Supriya Reddy Orge, Uma Malapuri Orge. Uh, it was uh, it was wonderful. Tumbani informative as uh, Narain or it, it was a wonderful journey. We could connect personally with uh, so many people along the way. Uh, so it was a privilege um, for all of us. And even to Banda guest Tumbani, thank you, Jayshri Orge. You know, we spoke so well. Uh, so thank you so much. And Padmini or Adhananji or Ella, 
ತುಂಬಾನೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಮಾತಾಡಿದ್ರು ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಸೆಡ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಈ ಇಡೀ ವೀಕೆಂಡ್ ಬಿಸಿ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಒನ್ ಅವರ್ ಯು ನೋ ಪೀಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಒನ್ ಅವರ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ಕುಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ವೆರಿ ಬೆನಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ಮೆನ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಓವರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಓವರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಇಡೀ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿಗೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವೆರಿ ಬೆನಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಈ ತರ ಒಂದು ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಈ ತರ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ನ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅಂತ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಇಡೀ ಅಕ್ಕ ತಂಡದವರು ಅಮರನಾಥ್ ಗೌಡ್ರು ದಯಾನ ತುಮಕೂರ್ ಅವರು ಇವರೆಲ್ಲರೂ ತುಂಬಾನೇ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಂತ ವಿನೋದ್ ಅವರು ಸುರೇಶ್ ಅವರು ಅನುರಾಧ ಧನಂಜಯ್ ಅವರು ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ಐ ನೋ ಲೈಕ್ ಧನಂಜಯ್ ಅವರು ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಡಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ಟೈಮ್ ಝೋನ್ ಪಾಪ ಎವ್ರಿ ವೀಕ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ವಿನೋದ್ ಅವರು ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಟೀಮ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಸೊ ಯಾ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ನೋ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ನ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದಾಗ್ಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ನೋ ಹೂಸ್ ಕೊಂಟು ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಹೂಸ್ ಕೊಂಟು ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ತುಂಬಾನೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಯೂಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಸೊ ವಾಸುಮೂರ್ತಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ತುಂಬಾನೇ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯುನೋ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ಲೈಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಡೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ವೀಕ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ವೀಕ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಗೈಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆರಿ 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 ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿವ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಮೂರು ಮೂರು ತಿಂಗಳ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಮಾಡೋದು ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ವೆರಿ ಡಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಶುರು ಆದಾಗ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಮೂರು ತಿಂಗಳು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಸೊ ನಮ್ಮ ಜೊತೆ ನೀವೂ ಹೆಜ್ಜೆ ಹೆಜ್ಜೆಗೂ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ ಕಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ನೀವು ವಿನೋದ್ ಅವರು ಧನಂಜಯ್ ಅವರು ಅನುರಾಧ ಅವರು ಹೆಜ್ಜೆ ಹೆಜ್ಜೆಗೂ ಇಟ್ಟು ನಮಗೆ ಸಹಕಾರ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀರ ಸೊ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಇದು ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ದಿಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ನೋ ಮೆನಿ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟೀಸ್ ಇದೆ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೊಲಾಬರೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸುಪ್ರಿಯಾ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸೆಷನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಯೂತ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಸೊ ಯಾ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಯು ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಫ್ಯೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಅಪ್ I just wanted to thank everyone for this wonderful opportunity. Getting to know all of you. you know, three weeks have been just amazing. Thank you for giving me this opportunity and uh, hope to continue to work with you. Yes, yeah. We definitely have to uh, keep this going. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you once again. ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ತುಂಬ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಅಕ್ಕ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ಗೆ ಹೋಗಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರು ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಾಚ್ ಇಟ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು